So now what? Flow center. See how it works. When you're inside here, your feet will be that way and then hit here. Okay. You've got to just want to control the life. I see. Up okay. and on. And then when you get emergency, the person will call me. Oh, okay. okay. Cool. And then the door is unlocked, you grab it here. Yeah. And then close it down slowly. Okay. And you will close it. Nice. Yeah. And like this. And when you want to open, you push it from inside, it will open. Okay. And okay. before you get in, have a quick shower. Yeah. Yeah. So what did you think about your first float? Man, we floated um, about two hours ago because the traffic was really bad on the way back to the hotel. It took us but two hours to get back from the two hour float. Yes, like basically, I right now I'm, I'm trying to remember how did I feel like, but um, totally right now my body is very light and very relaxed. And um, it was a really nice experience. Definitely, everyone should try at least once. We we both feel fall in love with it, right? Yeah, I really I really enjoyed it. I know it's kind of hard to describe. It's uh, very relaxing, and it was just a very interesting, unique experience. Hope to do it again. I wanted to sign up for a membership at the time, but uh, <laughs> you know we don't live here. So we're getting ready to go float. This is our first time floating in Singapore. You want to turn all the lights off because any light that's left on is going to seep into the tank. It's okay. going to be really distracting. Okay. So second thing is uh, while you're inside, you want to lie as still as possible. This uh, takes a while for the water's temperature to adjust to your body's temperature exactly. So anytime you move, it's going to take like five to ten minutes to restart the whole process. Okay. So lie as still as possible. So third thing is if you know any meditation techniques, mm -hmm. you can practice them inside. If not, a simple method would be watching your breath. Okay. So that's the three main things. Yeah. So before you go in, you want to take a shower. Cool. Soap, shampoo, wash off all the oils of your body. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once that is done, there are towels waiting for you over here yeah. to dry yourself off. Okay. So I just finished my second float, uh, first ever float in Singapore. And they're right when they say that each time is a unique experience. Uh, 
This one, again, also hard to describe, just like the one in Bangkok, but a um, little less visual and a lot more uh, uh, relaxing. Once I start moving again, hopefully I'll be able to describe it a little bit better, but yeah, it's a very, very unique experience and I really recommend it to anybody. Made it. Second time. Hello. Hey, Ollie. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, we are. Sorry that we're late. We had a little tax <laughs> issue. In Singapore, when we were there, it, it was the guy was saying, try not to move as much because the more you move, the, the, the water adjusts, or it takes time to adjust again. Yeah, yeah. So, so you think just centering your body first yeah. and then try not to move. Yeah, try not to move. Just yeah. let go, you know? Just nice. let go of your thought. Yeah. All right, cool, man. Yeah, all right, well, let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Bangkok floats in there. Float <laughs> number two for us. Ready? Yeah. Cool. Just finished my third float, second float at the Bangkok Float Center. Uh, again, each time it's a different experience. This one I felt a lot more anxious. Uh, I would say out of the three floats, this was the most uncomfortable one, but but not in a bad way. I think I was I was expecting too much. I think I was going into it thinking that oh, I know what this is about. I know exactly what to do. And it turns out it's more complex than that because this float was a very different overall experience that I've had, but it's also like a, 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 it's still a very powerful one, it's still a very good one. But um, yeah, I tried out a few different positions and uh, just couldn't seem to get comfortable. So I might end up going back to what I did the first two times. But again, it's just a kind of all experiment. So um, but yeah, I'm trying to talk more. Kind of hard to put into words again at this moment. Let's go check out Ha, see how what her float was all about. And, uh, I was over here. How was it? Uh, it was really different. Yeah. Yeah. Mine was also very different from my first experience here. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that one. It's really there nice. we are. 